Hey guys, I'm gonna show you uh, kind of how I make my rabbit snares. Um, all I did for this one right here, just made a little eye loop on there. And all you do is you just take a little bit of the end of the wire, you just loop it down like that. Then you just cross the one side like this, get your needle nose pliers or whatever, and you clamp it down right there, and then you just twist it. I'll do that right here. I think it's easier if you get it started with your hand first. Start it like that. And then just twist it around or just grab right there and just twist with your hands. Now you got a real small loop. Just like that. And then all you do is you take the other side. Which I already have the other side right there so I'm just going to snip off this side. And then... You know, you got your loop there. All you do is you take this one, go right through your little loop right there. And then there's your squirrel rabbit snare right there. Um, all you got to do is just tie this side off to a nail or a piece of branch or the same branch, you know. You just hang your snare right there. I mean, this snare is a little short. But, you know, I'll usually do about a fist size loop so I can just barely fit my fist through there for a rabbit. And then just a tiny bit smaller for squirrels and whatnot. But there's kind of my uh, setup right there for uh, squirrel and rabbit snares. I've ended up catching a, a couple squirrels in these. But, you know, every once in a while you'll have one. He'll end up chewing the wire off. But, you know, he'll, he'll be free and not hurt but these snares work they're good they're quick they're cheap fast you can run probably 100 100 of these in an hour or some probably 50 of these in an hour but there's just my snare setup if you have any questions you know comment um subscribe for more videos and whatnot uh thanks everybody for uh your comments and views and uh, I'll try to get back here with some more videos on uh, rabbit snaring and squirrel snaring pretty soon. Alright, thanks.